up friends? Jessica here from JessicaBrigham.com and today you're going to learn how to strip paint from a wood door. This is a tedious process so buckle up buttercup because once we start stripping there ain't no turning back. This is about the time where my husband would start singing to me. Pour some sugar on me. I really think that should be amended to. Pour some strip on me. Step one, assemble your supplies. You'll need stripper, a paintbrush, gloves, a large bucket for waste, a small bucket for the stripper, a variety of scrapers, a cocktail pick and an X-Acto knife for fine scraping, a hand sander, 60, 150, and 220 grit sandpaper, a sanding block, and polyurethane. Step two, remove all of the hardware. If the hardware needs a good cleaning, I recommend soaking it in equal parts vinegar and water with a bit of baking soda and then giving it a good scrub with a scour pad. It'll look good as new. Step three, let's pour some stripper on this door. I recommend setting up a pop-up tent. Hot sun rays tend to mess with the stripper and dry it up right quick and that is not ideal. Apply an even thick AF coat of stripper and let sit for at least 20 minutes or until you see that paint bubbling. Bubble. 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 Use your scrapers to remove it in globs and then discard in a waste bucket. There ain't nothing more satisfying than watching paint come off of a door. <laughs> oh my God, just you wait, you just wait. Use a metal cocktail pick for those especially skinny grooves and corners. Please note, the zip strip brand is new to me. It worked great on one side, but it didn't bubble up on the second side. I'm not really sure what went wrong since the weather, temperature, and humidity were all the same on both days. I'm just letting you know. Step four, starting with a 60 grit sandpaper, sand each side until the wood is raw, working your way up to 150 grit and finally 220 grit for a soft finish. Use a wood scraper to clean up fine edges. An X-Acto knife came in real handy for the deep grooves in my original single panel wood doors. Step five, I call this poly in place. With gloves and a tack-free cloth, apply poly in an even coat to both sides. I'm using a stain and poly mix that closely matches the color of my existing doors. Use painter's tape to protect the hinges. I only did one coat because she looked good to me, girl. Waste not, why not? This was the seventh door I've stripped, so I'm going to be real with you. This DIY is a not for the faint of heart. It took me about five days and 20 plus hours to complete this project. But hot damn, it is worth it! because these vintage single panel doors have been restored to their rightful glory. So, until the next DIY adventure, adios amigos! Bye! Bubbling. Like a bubble, it's gonna bubble, it's gonna bubble, bubble. <laughs>